Smiley Pants and the Swordfish is a beautiful retelling of the original story of Bukit Merah. I think it's apt that we are performing this particular story in Bukit Merah because then it gives audiences the opportunity after they leave the theatre to really look around them and to really remind themselves that this was not how Bukit Merah was many, many years ago. The significance of this play for me is in its themes. It's not just a play about an old legend, it's actually a play about uh, bullying. Do you think you're smarter than the king? parts of the play where the audience get to interact with the actor. They get to throw paper balls or swordfish or spears at the actors. Actually, you can choose not to, but I guarantee every single person who's holding a paper ball will want to throw it at the actor. It's a subtle way of getting them to see the message by involving them in the play. It is just saying sometimes we're participating in bullying and we didn't even know it. I think at that moment in time when they are seeing that happen on stage, they think about what they would have done. Once they make that conscious to realise that, hey, this is wrong, they would apply that to their lives and see situations and think about, is this right or is this wrong? When the Prime Minister was telling the King that you have no choice but to kill the boy, I think one of the audience member who was a child, he actually said out loud, why no choice? It reminded me of the power of theatre, of such good pieces like that, that really forced the audience to question things like, why don't we have a choice? I think that's reignited something else in me, that actually theatre is important. Theatre gives people the opportunity to question in a very safe space. And that's been my biggest takeaway. When I cast this play, I wanted very much for this to be a play about young people for young people. That to me is an important choice because these actors are not just performers, they're role models. And the young audience that come and watch them, I think they will take more out of the show by seeing someone who is closer to them than if it was just an adult. Yes, this is my first professional theatre production. I did not expect it to happen this quickly and I think me being so inexperienced it's like, not to be dramatic, but it's like a dream come true. This was a huge opportunity for me to even be given the opportunity to audition was a privilege I'd say and so when I got that message I straight away said yes, I would love to audition really it would give me an opportunity to step back on stage as an actor as well Me, I want to ensure that the next generation are learning good things, that they take away good messages, that the morals of the play is not just the play, but it should be reflected in their own lives. In doing so, these actors then speak into the lives of the audience. I think the process, what Samantha gave all the actors, was the opportunity to have our own input into it. So it was very collaborative. Um, with the short amount of time we had, she came up with the structure, but then we as actors had the opportunity to fill in all those little, little gaps with our own ideas and with our own thoughts about the show as well. You know, I didn't think she had to give me affirmations. She didn't have to make me feel what the work I was doing was okay. Because I felt like, as a professional actor, you either give something to the director and they either like it or they don't. But I feel like she works with who I am as a person and develops that into the character. I'd really like to extend my thanks and my gratitude to all these people, all these organisations who have believed in us, and especially to Gateway Theatre, who has believed in such a young cast. I think most of us, this will be our first production, and for a lot of us, this will be a very memorable production, because Gateway has really invested in our growth, has invested in this opportunity for us to share our gifts with a wider audience. I see a generation that's really rising up and making great choices and I want to empower them to do good with the tools that they have. The tool they have as an actor is able to storytell, to talk to the next generation about what is right and what is wrong. 
When that comes back to me as a director, I have to be making those choices too. How I speak to the actors, how I inform them. Um, imparting wisdom is not always easy, but it's necessary if you want a generation to do the right thing. Arts is not so much about yourselves, but it's really about sharing it with a wider community of people. And I think that's one of the reasons why I enjoy being an actor as well, because it's not, in a sense, desk-bound to you yourself and your colleagues, but you have this amazing opportunity to be able to go out there, to be able to stage a show like Smarty Pants and to be able to share it with close to 2,000 students and inspire them and I think spread a message in a very creative and artistic way.